Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful day. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Justin and today we are going to listen to XTC with their song The Wheel and the Maypole. Uh, this is off their album Wasp Star, Apple Venus Volume 2, which I believe is their last album released in 2000, actually. So, I know we're listening to Oranges and Lemons, I still got it on the list over there, uh, but so many of you have been asking for this song, I'm just like taking a slight detour. It's like when you're, you're on a road trip and you're going somewhere, you know, you see the Wax Museum sign, it says three miles, you gotta see the Wax Museum, you know? You gotta see the Michael Jackson wax statue, why not? <laughs> so, we're just gonna go see the statue, then we'll hop back on the highway that is Oranges and Lemons. Uh, but, like I said, quite a few of you have been asking for this song. Uh, and apparently this is their last song off of their last album. So uh, I'm expecting some differences between what I've heard and perhaps what we got here. And now we've listened to Easter Theater off of their first Apple Venus uh, volume. So I'm just skipping ahead. Just so you know. I don't know. There wasn't really anywhere I was going with that. So <laughs> let's jump into it. This is XTC with The Wheel and the Maypole. Let's go. See you in the wheel turn. 
I think that if that was the last song that you heard from the band, from XTC, I think you'd be really, really happy. I think that that is a perfect send-off for the band, last song on their last album. It reminds me in that way of The Garden from Rush, uh, which I did a video on quite a while back now, but it has that same kind of closure. Now, with XTC, <clears throat> excuse me, in particular, I don't know how they ended. I don't know if it was a purposeful end, if something happened to lead to their ending. I'm not sure. I haven't read on their history or anything like that. So just from this, though, I love the lyrics and how they pertain. As far as I can tell, I'm, I'm pretty sure that not only they're talking about, you know, the Maypole and, you know, that whole um, festival and, and passage, not passage, but uh, tradition, rather, but the way that it relates to the band. I'd imagine, but we'll talk about that a little bit more <laughs> afterwards. Uh, Andy, sounding awesome as ever. I love that really deep riff that comes in at the end of the pre-chorus, right before it breaks into the chorus. That's really cool, and I mean, the chorus really knocks things up uh, with like just huge guitar. It moves into that more festive kind of uh, dancey folk day we get like in a, in a festival. You know, and it perfectly matches the idea of the maypole, you know, like uh, in Midsummer, or in other traditions and stuff like that. You know, when they they have the big old pole there and they're wrapping it around with the, uh, the ribbons or whatever it is. I'm pretty sure, I'm 99% sure that's what a maypole is. Uh, and I don't exactly know what the tradition is. I know that it's like maybe about fertility, maybe a good harvest. I'm actually just making this up. I don't know. The reason that they're using the maypole, I would imagine, is because he's kind of talking about how they've produced so much. It's a celebration of all that they've produced. And then in the ending of the lyrics, he's talking about um, uh, like everything decays, forest tumbles down to make the soil, planets fall apart just to feed the stars. And what made me think we're any better? And what made me think we'd last forever? Was I so naive? Of course it all unweaves. So he's accepting, man, did I think that this could last forever? I mean, they definitely had a very long career, a great career as far as, as far as I know, making absolutely beautiful music. But he said, you know what? At the end of the day, we're going to decay just like everything else. Even the pyramids and palaces turn to dust. Wedding cake begins to must and molder. It doesn't last forever. But what a ride it was. What a journey it was. Uh, and I think that's a great statement from, from the band to us as the audience, as uh, fans of, their of the band and of the music. You know, this is a really, really nice send-off. And his singing, I love how it wavers in there. Let's get a little bit here. Oh, love that. Oh, I can't, <laughs> can't believe I even attempted to do that. But I love that. I love the drum beat as well. It's a simple drum beat, but it's the way that it's patterned and stilted that makes it really entertaining. It just works so well here. And then the song changes in the midway point and opens up into something a lot different as the lyrics change as well to become more self-reflective. Very festive. <laughs> Especially led by Colin's bass. Like, that is so great. The addition of the strings leading into that. Like, everything changes. And like I said, that's when it becomes a lot more self-reflective in the lyrics. And, you know, just celebratory. Because that's what it is. These are the fireworks. And fireworks don't last forever. Smooth line, great bass work here. Oh, love that. Yeah, that is such a great send-off musically, of course, lyrically. Uh, speaking of which, let's talk about the rest of the lyrics on this one. Uh, so we already went through some of the parts near the ending, but in the beginning, if you've got a plow... Oh, no, no, he says, I've got the plow. If you've got the furrow. I've got the rabbit. If you've his burrow home. You know what he's talking about. I've got the pen. If you've got the paper, time is but clay, and I'll see you and the wheel turn. We're, we're going to make the world out of this. You know, he's saying, I have one half if you have the other half. And together, we can create something. And here, I think he's talking about the music that they've come up with. I really like the chorus as well. And if the pot won't hold our love, then we'll dash it to the ground. If the pot won't hold our love, we'll build one bigger all around. That's awesome. You know, the love that they have uh, perhaps it is a literal romantic story between two people who love each other so much and they say, you know, in a metaphorical sense, you know, our love is so big that if this pot can't hold it, then we'll, we'll build a bigger one. But I think it's more about the relationship between XTC and their fans. You know, our love has grown so much, the fans for 
of course, the music and XTC for their fans. And the love has grown so much that uh, they have to build a new pot. Fantastic song. Great send-off. I would love to know what you guys thought of it, though. Join in the festivities in the comments down below. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Support the channel on Patreon. Hope that you're having a lovely day. Hope the rest of your evening is going well. The rest of your morning. Whatever it may be. Whatever time you're watching this. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for being here. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.